saw your face painted on the wall. Shapeless in space, colorless and small. Many people have asked, what is art therapy? With the help of some internet research, I found a good video that demonstrates what it is. That is what we think of, what you just mentioned. Either two people sitting and talking or a group of people sitting and talking about their emotional issues. How does an art therapy session go? What, what, what happens during an art therapy session? Well, basically, when the client comes in, they will have access to all kinds of art materials, paints, clay, markers, cray paws, and paper, and they are then asked to express their feeling at the time. Now, you don't have to be an artist to do art therapy, and so there will be a lot of scribbling, doodling, even stick figures, anything that you're comfortable with. Do you find this especially helpful with children who don't necessarily have the words yet to tell you how they're feeling? Exactly. It is most important for children who don't have that communication skill yet developed. But it works very well with my adult clients who've kind of shut down and don't really feel comfortable reaching into their emotions. Sure. Does it take a while, maybe a couple of sessions to really get into it? I can imagine if you are working in a 9 to 5 job where you're not required to express your emotions or feelings very often, it can be hard to switch into that mode. Absolutely. And I try to make it most comfortable for my clients by just letting them know that it might just be picking up your favorite color of paint and moving it across the page. There are no rules when it comes to using art therapy. To learn more about art therapy and its effects on children, I decided to volunteer at ArtQuest, a place I was already familiar with. ArtQuest focuses on recharging creativity and opening the mind to new and better ways of expressing feelings and emotions. While there, I decided to ask the staff a few questions to see what their thoughts on art therapy is. I love art because when I'm making something and everything's going well and, I, and I'm able to do it, mm -hmm. Um, I completely get lost in it, and I don't think about anything else. It's like when I'm making these little things right here, I'm just like fascinated with what the lines are doing, <laughs> and then you know, being able to create something that I've never seen before. Okay, I love art because it allows you to get into somebody's head or way of thinking and seeing the world and gives you a different perspective on life. I love art because you can express yourself through ways you can't express yourself when you speak. What feelings and emotions are most portrayed while doing art? When I, what feelings or emotions? I must not, I must not be more very emotional. <laughs> Because I, I think more about, I think I'm more mechanical and I'm thinking about how cool a color looks next to another color. Like dance usually like makes me like feel better. And really? Yeah, because you get out like all that like negative energy and you just like express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also a way to convey emotion so that you can express that anger or whatever in terms that other people can understand. Well, for some people, it's sometimes the only way they're really able to express themselves. And we all need to be able to let the world know who we are and what we're thinking. Everything in our quest is designed so that even a three-year-old can do it. Draw build with capital blocks, whittle, just hot glue things together, work with PVC pipes, uh -huh. um, make models, sculpt with clay, and build with capital blocks. Why do you like doing that? Because it's all fun. It's all fun? Sure. Cool. You know, then you love it for different reasons. There's just not one reason that you love art. 
sure. And it's not always the same for every case. You're a memory now You're all faded and brown You're just nameless 